Hi, this is Keto Granny, and I want to say how is everyone doing? I have did great for the month of July with my exercise, the keto diet, and intermittent fasting. For the whole month, I lost a total of 14 pounds. I started off at 256, and my ending weight was 244. I'm going to post those pictures below of my weigh-in. So I did the keto and I stuck basically to strict keto and I went to the gym at least three to four times during the week. I tried to hit 10,000 steps daily and plus I tried to go for a walk uh, at least two to three times during the week, uh, at least a three mile walk. So I did real good. I'm very proud of myself. And my goal for the month of August is another 10 pounds. I'd like to say if you'd like to join in, just join in at Keto Granny 30 Day Weight Loss Challenge. And join in on the fun. You can post recipes or whatever you do to lose weight so that we can help one another. So I'm feeling great. I'm doing good. And I say, come on and join in with Keto Granny, and let's all go on this weight loss journey. Okay, so I'm getting ready to weigh myself so I can see if I lost anything this week. Let's see. So I'm going to talk a little bit about intermittent fasting. Intermittent fasting is a great tool to use if you're trying to lose weight. And intermittent fasting is not a diet. Intermittent fasting is a plan of when you have your meals. Intermittent fasting is the time that you eat your meals. So on intermittent fasting, what you will want to do is to push your meals back a little bit further each and every day until you are fasting for longer periods and until you reach a fasting period that you want to be at. So say for instance, um, you want to be fasting at 16 and 8. What I did, I started off fasting first for the 12 and 12. And after I got used to that, then I went to the 14 and 8, no, 14 and 10. From there I went uh, from the 16 to 8. And it took me a minute to get to the 16 and 8 where I was comfortable. Then I went 18 to 6 and then 20 to 4. I have even went 23 to 1. Um, so intermittent fasting, it works. But you've got to be willing to stick to your fasting program and to know how to intermittent fasting correctly. Uh, intermittent fasting, you don't want to break your fast by having uh, foods or liquids that contain calories or anything that will raise your insulin. So that is something that you want to watch while you're intermittent fasting to make sure that you don't raise your insulin before your eating window begins.